gets away with that. I mean, really, it's the most that. watched man in cable news. It's actually a really scary. I, 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 I who think gets it, away with it. Put Tucker, Tucker Carlson. Tucker. If there's a Tucker and Laura Ingram and, and Chelsea Gabbard. Well, all of them. listen, but I think that's an incredibly relevant question. Yeah. And I think DOJ, in the same way that it is uh, setting up a task force to investigate oligarchs, should look into people who are Russian propagandists and shilling for Putin. That's being, if you are a foreign asset uh, to a dictator, it should be investigated. <laughs> Welcome back and thanks for watching. No, what you just saw there was not a less attractive Miss Piggy. It was Democrat state media propagandist Anna Navarro. And she's trying to explain why it's a good idea to use the force of government against journalists who are saying things they don't like. Hmm, sounds familiar. Now come with me down an aneurysm inducing mental meltdown as we watch the spew go down a very dark road of rationalizations to justify horrendous actions. Only to obliviously out themselves as the very very thing they claim to be against. But first, take 30 seconds to hear about this free coin offer for my viewers. Bloomberg Financial News has said the stock market lost over a trillion dollars so far this year. You heard that right, a trillion dollars. Facebook has fallen out of the top 10 tech stocks and all the markets have the jitters. Like you, people are worried really worried, except those with gold and silver as their backup plan. They know that with a precious metals IRA, they'll be fine. And for the month of March, with a qualified IRA above 20K, you'll get a three ounce silver American virtue coin or a five ounce America the beautiful silver coin for anything over 50K. Call 877-646-5347 now to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. You can also find the link in the description or pinned comment. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. Fox News' host, Tucker Carlson, is apparently a big hit in Russia right now. Yeah. The website Mother Jones posted a leaked Kremlin war memo instructing Russian state media to play Tucker Carlson clips as much as possible. And Tulsi Gabbard is being accused of spreading Russian false flag propaganda. This is exactly what I've always been talking about when I say the left is dangerous because they're capable of rationalizing anything. First of all, I'd be skeptical of this leaked memo because it could easily be disinformation used to sow discord in the US, just like the Steele dossier. But beyond that, who cares if they're watching Tucker in Russia? Back when Bush was president and the war on terror was in full swing, there were those who accused anybody questioning those wars of being traitors or aligned with the terrorists. The media and Democrats at the time fiercely opposed this behavior, with Hillary Clinton famously screeching, I am sick and tired of people who say that if you debate and you disagree with this administration, somehow you're you're not patriotic and we should stand up and say we are Americans and we have a right to debate and disagree. What she said was correct and continues to be correct today. Back then there were terrorist propaganda videos out that actually used clips from MSNBC and CNN accusing Bush of being a dictator and guilty of war crimes or regurgitating Islamic terrorist arguments about the US and oil. And I remember at the time neither CNN or MSNBC would run any pro Iraq war victory ads. And we were actually in that at war, unlike Russia's invasion of Ukraine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with Tucker asking any of these questions, and the over-the-top reaction to it should raise eyebrows. Back in 2014, CNN asked if showing ISIS videos was okay, because it was just spreading terrorist propaganda, and this is what they concluded. Not showing the video at all, however, risks sanitizing the grim reality of the world. So most media outlets tried to strike a balance. Media figures also tried to demonstrate some self-awareness <laughs> when dealing with the issue. No way to avoid leading the show with ISIS butchery, and yet, maddeningly, that also seems like what ISIS wants. How is this any different from what Tucker is doing now? raising questions that need to be asked. And again, I just want to make sure everyone's clear that I might no means pro Putin or trying to excuse his war. Obviously, he's the bad guy and he launched this war on Ukraine. And Ukraine has every right to defend themselves. And I think they should get some support from us. But I also think that the tough questions need to be asked. And I think it's really weird when you have members of the media and members of political party outright asking for journalists to be arrested, especially when most 
most of these people went out of their minds when Trump even criticized them. The Fox uh, board of directors should really step in. If they call themselves patriots and they, you know, it's not enough to be posting flags about Ukraine. The question is, what is in it for someone like Tucker Carlson, right? I money? mean, is it, is it money? It Who's paying be. him that money? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not making any allegations, but it's just, it doesn't make sense that he would do this kind of thing. I mean, he, he also says that the United States helped encourage the Russian invasion. Ah, so we're back to the Russian collusion, secret Russian agent conspiracy theories. What do you mean it doesn't make sense that he would do this kind of thing? He's a journalist. His job is to ask these questions. And while I do think Putin is responsible for the war he started, there is this. I think the one place where the greatest consternation would be caused in the short term for admission having nothing to do with the merit and preparedness of the country to come in would be to admit the Baltic states now in terms of NATO-Russian, U.S.-Russian relations. And if there was ever anything that was going to tip the balance were it to be tipped in terms of a vigorous and hostile reaction, I don't mean military, in Russia, it would be that. So Tucker asking if America had a hand in instigating this war is not outside the bounds of normalcy, especially with Biden being the president that this all happened under. For the second time, no less. I hope he's planning to move to Moscow. <laughs> because uh, he's not going to be welcome here for much longer. But I think that's an incredibly relevant question. Yeah. And I think DOJ, mm -hmm. in the same way that it is uh, setting up a task force to investigate oligarchs, should look into people who are Russian propagandists and shilling for Putin. That's being, if you are a foreign asset uh, to a dictator, mm -hmm. it should be investigated. What the hell? This overstuffed, bloated burrito is always looking for reasons to bring violence on people she disagrees with, especially Tucker Carlson. Here she is justifying violence against Tucker and his family because COVID. Don't you think this went a little too far though? Um, you know, I, I actually thought the guy who confronted him was quite uh, polite. There was this lady stalking me. I thought she wanted a selfie. No, she wanted to insult me for uh, not for loathing Trump. But I don't think that's that should okay. happen to you, Anne. I don't think that should happen to Chris. I don't think it should happen to me no, or um, Scott. Okay, well, uh, um, Don, I, I also don't think there should be hurricanes or there should be uh, COVID, but crap happens, okay? But yeah, this is just straight up scary, conspiratorial stuff she's peddling here. And finally, we arrive at the moment of self-ownage, which should have led to an epiphany, but won't. They used to arrest people for doing stuff like this. If they thought you were uh, colluding with a Russian agent, if they thought you were putting out information or taking information and handing over to Russia, they used to actually investigate stuff like this. And I guess now, you know, there seems to be no bars. And concern also is do the Ru Russian people don't know it. No. I know this weekend, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think Instagram uh, was taken down in yes. Russia. They really are. They almost have a digital curtain now over all information mm -hmm. coming out of Russia and I you literally want a digital curtain over all information coming out of our country it just they don't have the self-awareness to see that they're everything that they claim to be against I mean they are literally calling to use the exact same tactics that Putin has used against his people they literally want the government to investigate and arrest not just journalists but anybody apparently who questions this war between Russia and Ukraine and or America's involvement in it they want to use the exact same tactics that Putin uses and yet they continue Continue to accuse us of all the things that they are guilty of. All right, I think a part of my brain just exploded, so I better end it here. But as always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Then leave a comment to let us all know what you think.